Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another exciting video on IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn DCS programming. If you have no background at all about DCS, this video is for you if you want to start learning DCS programming. My name is Noman and you are watching IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. In this session, we would be actually learning about DCS programming in Delta V environment. I will try to make this tutorial easy to understand. That's why I would be only focusing on those information or those key topics which are really important for you to grab a DCS learning. If we talk about Delta V environment, you have two things very much, very much important. One is Delta V Explorer is used for writing a logic. If you talk about Delta V Operate Configure, this is to create NHMIs and graphics required for DCS. We would be working on both of them, but in this particular tutorial, we would start working with Delta V Explorer. If you want to open Delta V Explorer, the process is very simple. All you have to do is you have to click on Start and then Delta V Explorer then you would see a Delta V Explorer which would look like this. We would cover most of the things which are here in detail but in this particular session to make things very simple for you I'm going to just directly open up a control module. If you remember S7300 PLC learning sessions then you might be aware that FCs, FPs and OBs were used to create logic. Here you would be having a control module where you would be creating all logic. So when control module will open up first time you will see these options and when you talk about different instructions you can find them here. So here in this particular session we would be actually using SR and RS logic. In this particular example to make the things very easy for you to understand we would start with a very very basic example so that you understand the difference between programming in a PLC environment and a DCS environment. Just cap this RS block here. So if in the case you want to apply inputs that's going to be very simple you have to get into special items and there you can put in input parameter here. So now this is your input. You can say in one and the type of this input is boolean so you have to select that. Click OK. Make this connection very simple to reset and then you got another input. Keep it here. Make it in. Name it as in two and then Parameter type would be boolean, select OK and make a connection to set. And now you got an output parameter here. So you just get in here, make this, select data type as boolean, click OK and make a connection with your output. So now you are going to download this. And Now, the important thing what you have to understand, you have to, if in the case you want to make it online, this is the point where you would be getting in online. Now, both of them are false. That's why you see the output is false. If you apply input at set, you can do just double click here, make it true. And now you will see your output would also turn on. Now, if you are going to apply reset, so you have to true you have to make it true and you see that so when set and reset are actually pressed together our input at the set and reset are applied at the same time then in rs your reset have a higher priority that that's why you can see your output is off so if you make it false here you can see your output turns on again so this was a very simple session just to let you know the environment in a uh, Delta V. If believe me or not programming in Delta V DCS is very easy and even in any DCS is very easy as compared to programming in a PLC but the information is very less available. If this video hits thousands likes in a one week 
then I'm gonna make complete training series on Delta V. If any one of you is interested in learning PLC, DCS or SCADA, you can reach us on WhatsApp number provided into description of the video. That's all for today. We'd love to see you back in the next coming video. Till next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.